Welcome back! Today we're finally making nitric acid because I've used all my stock. But first, let's ask why we're making it. So nitric acid is one of the best acids, if not the best you can have, because it acts both as a strong acid like sulfuric acid, but it's also a very good oxidizing chemical. In fact, it's my favorite acid. The best thing is that it does all of that without being too dangerous, unlike perchloric acid. So yeah, very nice to have around. It's very versatile overall because it can be used in organic chemistry, energetics, or just to dissolve metals. For example, the only acid to dissolve copper is nitric acid. You need it to make TNT and many other explosives. It's even used in organic chemistry when you want to put a nitrogen in a molecule. Okay, so there are multiple ways of making nitric acid. Usually, we do a distillation of a nitrate salt with another acid. But there are alternatives, like using bisulfate instead of sulfuric acid. I don't have any bisulfate right now, so let's just use sulfuric. As you can see on the equations, sulfuric acid is a diacid. That means it can give up to two hydrogen ions. And that means we can use half of the molar equivalent we would normally use. This is our sum. But the catch is that the byproduct we're forming is annoying to clean, because it's less soluble in water. But I guess that's a problem for later, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let, let's just start with the procedure. We start by measuring around 70 grams of concentrated sulfuric acid that I made in a previous video. Then we weight 145 grams of potassium nitrate. I hope maybe one day I can measure out something without spilling half of it, goddamn. Anyway, see those big chunks? It means it's not dry and we need dry chemicals. So I decided to heat it on a hot plate to drive off most of the water. Also, am I the only one who can't fucking use a plug outlet? Just, just fucking go in, please. You're making me lose my time. Ok, now we just need to put the reagents in the flask and assemble the apparatus. I'm gonna use some aluminium foil to wrap the glassware, because nitric acid has a tendency to decompose at high temperatures with light. This will maximize the yield and reduce the production of nitrogen oxides, which are toxic. In the past, I had done this reaction without aluminium foil and got so much orange gas that it started to become dangerous. I think the nitrogen oxides are produced mostly at the start, because when the nitric acid started to distillate, I didn't get much more gas. When the distillation stops, we can store our concentrated nitric acid in a brown vial. Make sure that you either don't wear gloves or that your gloves can handle concentrated nitric acid, because most gloves will catch fire upon contact with it. Okay. 
On one of my next project, I want to make liquid nitrogen dioxide and maybe dinitrogen trioxide, and then make ampules of them. I'm talking about that because the first time I made nitric acid, it was very cold outside, and I suspect the dark liquid we can see might be liquid nitrogen dioxide. Don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comment, I'd love to hear your feedback. See you next time.